Welcome to Starting a Business Simplified, Navigating the Shift, a podcast for those of you looking to transition from a medical career to starting an online business. I will be sharing how to get started, success stories, and more. If you are looking to make the move from medicine to online, but don't know where to start, this is the podcast for you. I'm Susie Rains, your host, and I look forward to helping you simplify starting a business. Welcome back to Starting a Business Simplified. In this episode, I wanted to talk about what you can be doing for your business the last week of the year. As we're coming to the close of 2023 and I'm recording this, I wanted to share with you some of the main things that you should do to maintain your business. These are items that you should be doing regularly throughout the year. And then at the end of the year, These are things that you can do to set yourself up for success in the new year. So what I'm going to talk to you about in this episode is organization, how to organize your business back office. For most of you that follow me and have listened to other episodes, I use Google Workspace for my business. It's a very inexpensive way to have everything you need for your business in your back office. And I use Google Drive which is where I keep all of the files for my business. So in my Google Drive, I've shared this in other episodes, I have folders set up that are labeled specifically for what it is that is in them. So for example, I have an accounting folder, I have a legal folder, I have a marketing folder, I have business planning folder, business strategy folder, I have a clients folder, all the things that I need to organize my business. And these folders can be made however it makes sense to you and your business. It doesn't matter what they're called, just so you know where everything is. So at the end of each year, I go into my folders and I create a new folder for the new year. So for example, in my accounting folder, I have a folder inside that is 2022, 2023, and now I'm going to make a new one that's 2024. So that when I save things in the new year, they're all going to go in the 2024 folder. This will allow me to keep things together. Now, this is the accounting folder, and it's important that everything is saved by year for tax purposes and to be able to find things easily. For other folders, that might not be the case. So you may not file things by year, say, in your marketing folder. But you should have, I will say, this is my recommendation, have at least one folder that says reports. Any type of reports that you're going to do, you're going to want to file those by year. That way you'll know when you go to look at your reports, what year you're actually looking at. So for example, I am on LinkedIn and I keep track of my goals and how I'm getting closer to my goals with what I'm doing on LinkedIn. And I want to track that. So I want to keep track of what's happening year to year. I'm probably going to save that file in the year that the report is created. So depending on how you're filing things and how you're going to find things makes a difference as to what folders you want to add at the beginning or at the end of the year for the new year and how you want to track things. My next tip is make sure you are backing everything up. So for example, all of 2023, everything that's in 2023, I am going to back up to a folder that's 2023 backup. Even though I'm on Google Drive and it's in the cloud and it's saved by Google and all the fun stuff, I have an external drive. My external drive plugs into my computer and I drag my 2023 folder from my Google Drive to the external drive and I copy it. That is a safety. If for some reason I cannot get into Google, If they lock me out, if they go under, which I know they're not going to, they're way too big for that, but they have all my stuff. 
So if something happens, I can't get on the internet for some reason. My backup file that I have is my entire business on an external drive so that I can go at any time without internet service, I can plug it in and go grab anything I need to for my business. It is so incredibly important that you do this, that you back up your folders. Now, I do this monthly. I go in and I back up my business documents monthly so that I have a copy throughout the year should something happen. But at the end of the year, I grab everything and it gets backed up to my external drive in all one big file so that I know everything in there is as up to date for 2023 as it's going to be. And I can get rid of all my monthly folders. So everything that I do throughout the year that I'm backing up, I can just get rid of those because they're old and just have the one file that's for 2023. So make sure you're backing your files up. And this is something that if you're saving files on your computer, here's what I'm going to tell you about that. So I, I download a lot of things. I, I download and upload podcast episodes. I record podcasts on my computer. I'm recording one right now that I'm going to download the audio for and edit it and do stuff with it and then upload it to the podcasting platform. And then I may download it and save it. All that upload, download, all that stuff, if it's on my computer, I save a copy to my Google Drive. That way I have a copy and I can clear out my computer so that it's not getting bogged down with really big files. Video files are extremely big and they will slow down your computer. They'll slow down what you're doing. So I always recommend, I do this once a month, I go into my download folder and I go in and clear it out. I move any files that need to be moved, upload them to the drive in their folder. So I have a podcast folder on my drive. All my podcast episodes that I've downloaded, I take those and upload them. So I have a copy. So I always have a copy of my stuff. These are my assets, my business assets. And if for some reason the Spotify podcasting platform shuts down or they sell themselves to somebody else and they're like, you can't, you don't have access anymore. I have a copy of all of my podcast episodes. So it's really, really important as a business owner that you are keeping copies of everything that you do. If you're uploading things to other third-party platforms, you want to make sure you have a copy. Website. I use AttractWell for my website and my email campaigns and all of my contacts. They're all in a third-party platform. I export my contacts once a month and save the file and it goes into a backup folder and that folder gets updated and it gets saved and backed up every month with my big backup I do every month. So everything gets saved and I have it in case something happens. This is just something to put on your calendar as a to-do and make it a priority. If something were to happen and I didn't have access to my documents, I have to start from scratch. If something happens with my podcast and I don't have copies, I have to start from scratch. And it's happened to people. It's happened to businesses. It's happened to big businesses and small businesses. So I just want to emphasize, make sure you have copies. And if you're confused and you're not really sure how to do it or an easy, simple way to do it, please reach out to me. Schedule a call with me and I can just share my screen with you and say, this is how you do it. You just go here, click here, drag here, you're done. <laughs> it doesn't take a lot of time. It's not time consuming. It's just a matter of you implementing it. And, and if you have a virtual assistant, this is something they can do for you. Put it on their to-do list that they do this for you every month and then at the end of the year, do a big file for the whole entire year and you'll be good and you can start fresh. This also helps if you need to delete files. So if you start, if say your storage is smaller on your Google Drive, if you wanna go in and delete some things, make sure you have them backed up on an external drive and then go in and delete them. You can always go back to your external drive and pull them up if you need to access them later. But then you can clean them out and 
save more space on your Google Drive. So your takeaway from this episode is to evaluate what files do you need to back up? Where are your files located now? What is the system that you're going to implement for your business to save a copy of everything that you do? So happy new year. I'm so excited to start a new year and I will have more tips and more stuff you can do in the new year. And as always, keep it simple. Thanks for listening to this episode of Starting a Business Simplified. If you enjoyed this episode, then hit the subscribe or follow button on your favorite podcasting platform so you never miss an episode. Have you thought about starting a business and didn't know what to do first? You're in the right place. I've created a simplified step-by-step process for starting a business. Click on the link in the show notes for information on how to get started today. 